Hey Jackal, in this video I will show you how to export a whole video as an image sequence, just a section of the video as the image sequence, but I will also show you how to export images on every couple of frames. Now let's get digital. Now before you export the images, you should check what the timeline frame rate is, in my case it's 30 frames per second, so every second this will be 30 frames. And now to export the whole timeline as an image sequence, you'll go to the delivery page, select the format and select PNG. Select the resolution and as you can see the frame rate is set to 30, which is the project resolution and you can also export the alpha. Now this will export the whole clip as an image sequence and in this case this would be almost 400 images, which is quite a lot. Now if you just want to have a section of the video as an image sequence, simply find the point, press I, find an out point and press O. Now in the delivery page only this section would be exported as images. But what if you want to export an image every couple of frames? Well you don't have a clear cut solution, at least not in the edit page or in the delivery page, so what you have to do is go into the fusion page. So I'll go into the fusion page with the clip selected and inside here what you need to do, shift space, type in save and we'll add a saver node. You can hold shift to connect it between the media in and the media out, go to the saver node, you'll go to the file name and click browse. So I will export to this location and you need to save as a file type, by default this is set to EXR I will just go to all files and leave this as filename.png. Click on save, we have some export options, I will leave this to frame, format I will also leave to default, but we have to go to settings and inside the frame render script we will actually put a piece of code and the code will be this. We will use blend, in this case blend is this value, if blend value is 0 nothing will be exported and if it is 1 it will be. And we have current time, this is the current frame that the playhead is at, if this is divided by 10 and this division is modulo, so in this case divided by 10 if it is equals to 0 it means that if the current time is 0 or on every 10th frame this will be true and we will output one so we will get an image, in all of the other cases we won't have an image. Now you can set this value to what you want, if I want to have this at every one second I will type in 30 because this is the frame rate that I have in my timeline, I will copy, paste and what you need to do now is go to fusion and render all savers. Now before I do I'll just go to this location, so you can see I have nothing in. And you can see that it's making an image on every 30th frame. So in total I have 11 items and now you could take these images, you could go to the edit page, take these images, put them in, and then you could select all of the images, right click, change clip duration, we can go to frames, so 150 frames is 5 seconds in this timeline, but I could set this to 5 frames, change, and once you have a bunch of gaps, you can go to edit and delete the gaps, and we'll get a stop motion animation. And that's how you can export images from the whole clip, a section of the clip, or at every other frame, by using the Vinci Resolve. And if you found this video helpful, you know what to do. I'm Simon and until next time Jacko, keep it digital.